So as I was learning Objective-C, one of the best features of the language and the one that I used a lot was the concept of categories. And this allowed you to extend the functionality of any class, um, but it's especially useful for the built-in classes, which, is, which are in the Cocoa framework. So let's say for NS image that I really wish that NS image had a certain method that did something or a certain property. We could create a category on NS image. And then as long as I included that in my project, I can then uh, use it directly on NS images. So I don't have to subclass NS image. Um, it really is one of the, the best features of the language. Well, in Swift, we have that, but it's, they're now known as extensions rather than categories. And I'm going to show you how to create one here. So in Xcode 6, I'm going to create a new iOS application. We'll just create a single view application. Um, I'm going to call it Giants. All right, we're going to use Swift. Everything else you can leave at the defaults. We'll create that. So now I'm going to get a couple of images uh, just to work with. And I'm going to be putting this project up on GitHub um, as well. So, all right, so I'm going to import these into my project. And now I'm going to go to my main storyboard. So what we're going to create is, obviously, this is a single page um, application. So I'm going to give the background of my main view controller. Um, we'll just make it black. And the next thing I want to do is when I'm actually uh, looking at this, I want to look at it as an I a four-inch iPhone, essentially. So I'm going to go to click on my view controller um, for size. I'm going to do iPhone four-inch. And again, this is just for uh, simulation here. And for the target simulator, I'm going to choose iPhone 5S. And now we're going to drag out that image of Hunter Pence. We're just going to drag it here onto uh, the view controller. And let me set that up now. So it's going to have a width and a height, uh, both of 190, like that. Let me drag this to the center. And for the mode, I'm going to say aspect fit, like that. And now let me just set up some constraints. So I'm going to set the constraint to the top. I'm going to center it um, horizontally in the container. And I'm going to come down here. And well, this is kind of off the screen, but I'm setting the width and the height uh, to be constant. OK, so the next thing I'm going to add is just a simple label. So let me go here. Pull out this label. And I'm just going to put his name in there, Hunter Pence. And we're going to choose a custom font. I'm just going to use Helvetica Nue. And we're going to go with Thin. And I'm going to make it a size of 33. And we will also center it like that and just put it underneath the photo. And let me set up constraints for this. I'm going to drag to that image. I'm going to say we're going to go to the top and we're going to center the X. Okay, so now we have uh, the basic scene set up. And let's just go ahead and run it to make sure uh, things look okay. So here it is, and here we have our application. Okay, so what we're going to be creating is essentially an effect that you see a lot now on iOS, um, and that is um, a person of somebody's fa a picture of somebody's face. It's actually a circle. So I essentially want to take this square image and turn it into a circle um, with a border around it. So we're going to create an extension to UI image which is going to do that work for us. Uh, so essentially, we're going to be adding a new method to the UI image class. So let me first go to the assistant editor here. And we get some space. And we're going to need a reference to that image view. So I'm just going to control drag. And we'll just call it image view. And let me close that. Now if we go back to our view controller, 
um, I now have a reference to that image view, which is in my storyboard. Okay, so in the view did load, essentially what we're gonna do is we're going to take that image, which is in the image view, which is a square image, and call a method on UI image called crop to circle with border color. So, and this is what our extension is gonna be. So now in previous versions of Xcode with Objective C, there was actually a template for creating a category. Uh, we don't have that here yet. So I'm just gonna create a new file and I'm just gonna create an empty Swift file. Click next. Now for the name, the general convention um, in Objective-C was to use the class name that you want to extend, a plus sign, and then a general uh, term of what methods are in here. So for instance, for a UI image, uh, this, this um, extension that crops to a circle could be part of maybe five different cropping methods that I have. So I'm gonna call it UI image plus cropping like that and here we have our new Swift file so obviously the first thing we want to do is to import UI kit not foundation and now to create um, an extension it's very easy all you have to do is to use the extension keyword so extension and then we give the class we want to extend, which is obviously UI image. And now inside of here, we can do things like, for instance, let's say we wanted to create a static method on UI image. Well, we could just say uh, static func, and then we would use it, um, we would create a method on the class itself. But we're gonna create this as an instance method so all I need to do is to create a function. So I'm gonna say func, and then we're calling it crop to circle with border color. Now to this, we're gonna send two parameters. First is going to be a color parameter, and this is gonna be of type UI color. And the second is going to be the line width or how thick um, I want the stroke to be. So I'm gonna call it line width, and this is going to be a CG float. So again, we're gonna be calling this on an actual UI image instance. So what we want to return is a new UI image, and that's gonna contain our you know, crop circle with the border. So here's my function declaration. And just so we can get rid of these errors just while we're doing it, I'm just gonna say return UI image just so it doesn't bother us. So when we want to actually uh, get at the pixels of an image and do things like drawing on top of it or cropping it, we need to get a graphics context. And more in particular, we need the image context. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to um, create a, a constant which is called image rect because we're going to need in, in a couple of different places to know what is the rect of this current image um, instance. So I'm going to set that equal to CG rect and we're going to use the origin and size um, initializer and for the origin, it's going to be CG.0, which is essentially just a 0, 0 location, and then self.size. So what we now need to do is to begin our image context. And this context, once we begin it, is going to allow us to draw into it. So to do that, we're going to use the UI graphics begin image context. And for the size, we're just gonna use image rect dot size because we want the new image to be the same size um, as the original image um, that we're drawing from. So what we now need is a reference to the current graphics context. 
um, because we're going to need that when we do our core graphics um, calls. So I'm going to create a var here just called context, and then I'm going to go to UI graphics, and it is get current context. Okay, so now that we have that, now we can actually do the work of creating our um, circle, which is going to act as a mask, or it's going to clip this image. So what I want to do is to actually use the CG context add ellipse in rect. And this is essentially going to add a circle in whatever rect I define but we just want to use that image rect, um, CG rect object. So now that I have that, what I want to do is to use it to clip this drawing context. So anything I draw outside of this circle is going to be clipped off. And for that, we say CG context clip. And again, we're always having to pass in that constant uh, context instance. So now that I have my ellipse there and it's, it's being used um, as a clipping mask, now I want to actually draw the image um, that this instance represents, which is that image of Hunter Pence. So to do that, all I have to say is self draw at point. And again, I'm just going to use CG point zero. And this is going to draw the current image attached to this instance um, at the zero, zero position. Okay, now that we have our image drawn, we're going to create a, another rect. So we're going to say CG context, add ellipse in rect. And this one is going to allow us to stroke that circle. So again, pass in image rect. And now we need to set up the style of our stroke. Well, we passed in those two parameters to this function called color and line width. So let's start with the color. We're going to say color dot set stroke. And to set the line width, we're going to use CG context set line width and pass in that line width parameter. And finally, to actually make the stroke appear, we're going to say CG context stroke path context. Okay, so remember that this um, instance method um, returns a new instance of UI image. So we need to create that now. So I'm going to create it as a let. So we're just going to say let new image is equal to UI graphics get image from current image context. Probably the longest method name I've ever seen. But what it does is takes any drawing or anything that's been um, put into this drawing context, it's going to create an image out of it for us, which is exactly what we want. And remember, when you're working with core graphics, you need to be careful with memory. So we want to um, release this context uh, before we leave. And now I want to return that new image that I just created. So there is our finished extension method. And again, now that I've created this, Anywhere in my project, I can say uh, on any UI image, say crop the circle with border color. So let's now go to back to our view controller and implement it um, into our application. So what I'm going to first do is to get a reference of the image which is inside of that image view. So I'm going to say let img is equal to image view dot image. And now that we have that instance, so what I'm now going to do is to set a new image on our image view. So I'm going to say image view dot image is equal to img dot crop to circle with border color. And now I need to pass in uh, those two parameters. Now for the color, I'm going to I want to get this San Francisco Giants orange. I'm going to open a tool that uh, Tom Kircher and I are currently working on, which is kind of a, an advanced uh, color selection tool. So I'm going to select that, 
and I'm going to paste that in. You can see it pasted in as a UI color. And for a line width, I'm going to set it to 20, like that. So let's go ahead and run this now. And let me bring up the simulator. And there we have our finished effect. So we started with that square image um, and created an image extension um, on UI image, which takes the image, crops it into a circle, and gives it a stroke around the edges. So this concept of creating extensions is very powerful. And if you go on GitHub, you will find um, you know, what used to be called categories and now called extensions for every imaginable thing uh, that you might want to do. So definitely, before you go ahead and write a whole bunch of stuff yourself, definitely check on GitHub. But this is an amazingly useful way so that you don't have to subclass UI image in order to add functionality.